lockdown, we down on Webster, 194th Street in the Bronx, BX. Big up to BX. We got the brother here today that uh, we're gonna talk to. Can you tell him your name? All uh, peace and blessings. My name is Kate Vaughn Rivers. I'm the founder of a nonprofit organization called I Am My Community. I Am My Community is located yeah, yeah, in the Bronx. That's what, that's we promote public safety through yeah, mental health yeah. awareness programs, yeah. parenthood programs. And we also got an anti-violence unit, which means somebody gets shot, harmed, or hurt in our community. We take it upon ourselves. We got nothing to do with the police to find out what happened to who and why. Try to bring both sides together so there don't be no type of retaliations and you know we no more deaths. So where you was born at? Where you grew up at? Uh, I was born right here in the Boogie Down Bronx. Bronx, where you grew up at? Years. Um, 170 yeah, yeah, yeah. Morris, 183rd. Okay, okay. Okay, big up. I, I live right on 188 from Marion, man. Born okay. and raised over here. Yeah, you know? I lived around the corner from there on Webster Avenue, too, in Castle Grace. So you grew so. up in one family right, home, yeah. two family home. How was that for uh, I, raised, I was raised with, when I first was born, my pops was in the army. You know, I'm 55 years old, so at that time, you know, my pops was in the army fighting the war. But then after that, I was in a two-family home. And then as life went on, it, you know, my parents separated. And that really do play an effect on them, especially a male when the father leaves the household. Absolutely, no question, no question. So, so, how, um, so how's everything going for you now in your transition? How was that, though? You know, with your, could you speak about that? You know, you just in and out of prison, or what you ever in and out of prison? How did that go? And how did you happen to transition? So, without going too much into your, you know, past, how did that transition occur for you to doing what you're doing for the community now? Well, you know, after my parents passed away, of course, you know, it hurt me back because I was at a young age. So, I started going out to the streets. Following the wrong people, you know what I'm saying? Easily misled at that time. I found myself a whole bunch of times in this tribulation. I got locked up over 77 times. I found myself in county jails, state jails, federal, federal penitentiaries, etc. And then, you know, it come a time in life where you just gotta wake up. And the same way, you know, I was out here destroying the streets, there's one day I just woke up and said, enough is enough. And that was like eight years ago. And I sat back, you know, I started my program, I Am My Community. And you know, the same energy that I put in to tear down the community, I try to put in like a thousand percent more than that to build up the community because now I recognize and see that a lot of things that I did, I was 100% wrong. But it wasn't people at the time to pull me to the side and, you know, had a lot of yes men. And right now, you know, that's the last thing I try to be is somebody yes man because I see that in the long run, we don't need no yes men. We need people that can speak the facts and tell us what's, you know, what's going to lead us in the wrong direction. Facts, man. I appreciate you here. Success after lockdown. We appreciate what you're doing for the community. So that's what this platform is created for, man. To highlight men and women like you and I that have been through that system. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Grew up and doing the right thing. So I appreciate your time. Definitely look forward to, to us coming together, man. And yeah, we got together. We got to get together, man. Let me say one more thing, too, real quick, man. And you know, it's like it only takes five seconds for you to get into a situation that it may take you five years, 10 years, 20 years, you may never get out of it. You may get life without the possibility to grow. So we gotta start thinking about the things, man, the consequences before we start reacting. There's a lot of things that's not big to us, but we make it big because, you know, the Joneses outside lead us into a lifetime of situations. Peace and blessings. Peace. No, I appreciate you, man. Do you, do you have, um, do you have a, uh, a website somewhere that groups can get in uh, touch with you if they need to get in touch. Most definitely, you? you just go to www.i am my community inc. Just regular i am my community inc. dot com. I'm right there. You know, I'm all on social media. Or you gotta look under K Vaughan Rivers or look under I am my community. If you wanna see me pop up. That's what's up. That's what's up. And if you wanna check out K Vaughan on this interview, you already know, man. Check in, man. YouTube, Spotify. Anchor, Apple Music, Success After Lockdown at gmail.com. Peace and blessings, y'all. BX in the building. Yeah.